Shut up and sit down. Hey friends, I'm Simon. I'm Ellie. And if you enjoy our videos, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell thing. That would be very kind of you indeed. And I don't even know what this next trailer reaction is to, to be honest with you. I heard that there was a Black Adam teaser trailer, which got me super excited, but it's not exactly that. It's something that DC just released called The World Needs Heroes. And isn't that true? And if one of those heroes is Dwayne Johnson in spandex, I'm in. So we're going to go ahead and check out this so-called The World Needs Heroes trailer thing right now. If you want to see what we think about it, then stick around until the end. But for now... Let's go. Let's go. Who are you under there? Ooh. What are you hiding? I'm Batman. My son dreamt of a better world. That's why he saved me. You can go to any timeline, any universe. Why'd you like to save this one? No. What could be greater than a king? A hero. Oh. I just got goosebumps. <laughs> If we don't stand up, no one will. Come with us. There's a glorious wow. world out there. Waiting for you. Oh, this president. Are you in? Yes. Wow. So apparently the world does need heroes and we're going to get Black Adam and Batman and Aquaman and... Uh, um, <laughs> what did you think of this teaser? It was too teasy and it went very quickly so it's hard to kind of latch onto things but it is incredible to see Dwayne Johnson in the suit. Yeah, it really is. I mean, the guy was made to be a superhero. He looked like one even without being dressed like a superhero. But how have we not seen him as a superhero before in his career? It just doesn't make sense. So this... saw him as the Tooth Fairy. Oh, he was the Tooth Fairy. That's, That's kind of a superhero. Yeah, it's superhero for teeth. Um... Wow, so I, uh, I'm very excited about Black Adam, seeing Piers Brosnan in that as well, like, oh, I'm a big Piers Brosnan fan. Um, uh, so Aquaman 2, I'm actually really excited about as well. I, I thought the first movie, I really liked a lot of it. There was probably a bit too much CGI towards the end, and it got a little mm. bit tiresome, but it definitely wasn't a bad movie, Aquaman. I thought that was pretty great. And Batman is clearly its own thing. Like, it doesn't seem to necessarily have the same feel as the other movies. It seems very, very dark and violent. But I could get behind that. Like, it looks like it's going to be a great movie in its own right, even if it's a little standalone. The Flash. Are you excited about The Flash? I am, because I think he's a funny character the way they've done him in the DC movies. Yeah, he's funny, all right. It's not funny ha-ha. I, I mean, I I found him so irritating in the original cut of Justice League. Then in the Snyder cut, where people were talking about, he's got so much more backstory, he's so much more relatable now. He was even more annoying than in the Joss Whedon version. And creepy AF. Like, remember that car crashing? And he's like just touching that girl's face in slow motion. Just, just zooming in for a quick feel while she's just about to get crushed to death with his meat snack in his pocket. I, I just, I cannot imagine a more annoying character than The Flash. So to have to endure a whole movie of that, the next trailer for The Flash is going to need to be really flipping good. I'm telling you that much if you want my money, DC, because uh, hell no at the moment. <laughs> so three out of four for me on The World Needs Heroes. But the, three out of four ain't bad, as the song almost said. Um, yes. Well, hey, that was just a teaser, but I think you got two people who are 100% excited and 75% yeah. excited, 25% annoyed. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Well, hey, thanks for cluing us in that this uh, little teaser was dropping. It was kind of fun. Can't wait to see more from what DC are bringing to us this year. And if you can't wait to see more from us, well, you don't have to wait very long because you'll see us very, very soon, friends, on the next Nerd Safari. Peace out, nerds. <laughs>
Shut up and sit down.